Today, we're here to go over how to check the status of an advocate's reward within the Talkable platform. So the first step is to navigate to your customer service portal within the Talkable platform. You'll then need a customer identifier, such as their email address, in order to look them up within our portal. Once you type in their email address or other identifiers, such as an order number, all of their information will populate within the portal. So you'll be able to see all of their referrals, all of the rewards they've earned, um, and if any of their referrals have been blocked, um, causing them to not earn a reward. If they have earned a reward, but they're not able to access the reward within their emails because they accidentally deleted the email, for example, you'll be able to resend their reward email within the platform, as well as look up the code that they were issued. All right, so now that we're in the Talkable platform, I have already navigated to the customer service portal. You'll see up here the different tabs. The customer service portal will be the first tab. And the first thing you'll see within the customer service portal is a person lookup. And so this is where I mentioned you'll be able to enter someone's email um, or order number to look them up or coupon code. And so in this case, I'm actually just gonna use email. I would say that's the most used um, case to look someone up within the portal. And so today I'm gonna to look up an advocate who says they cannot find their reward for referring a friend um, to the company. And so what we're gonna do, once we enter their email, um, their information is gonna populate. So when I scroll down, I can actually see all the referrals they've ever made. So I can see this person is an advocate in three instances. So three friends have actually made a purchase after being referred by this advocate. So you can see here all the friends that have been referred as well as their emails and the order that they placed. So you'll be able to see the order number, the dollar value of that order, as well as the date and time they placed that order. And then you'll notice some green and red buttons. And those are gonna indicate whether or not that person was rewarded for that referral. So in this case, I generated all of these orders. And so as a result, the friend didn't actually get a code in any of these instances. So these are all red. However, in most cases, the friend indicator will be green and you'll be able to hover over it to see whether or not they got issued the reward. If it's red, they did not get a code. If it's green, they did get a code. Um, and you'll be able to see here if they use the code on purchase, the code will actually display as well. In this case, I'm interested in understanding whether or not the advocate was rewarded. And so you'll see here that there are three referrals. I'm gonna look at the first one. If I hover over it, it says advocate reward of $25 is paid successfully. So in this case, it seems like it was paid, but now I want some more details. So I'm gonna click on referral details, and you'll notice if I scroll down, there's all the information related to the specific referral. So you can see all the friend information as well as the advocate information. So if you've gone through our uh, video on fraud, um, you'll know that we have a number of different fraud settings, and they're all indicated here. Um, so if, for example, you block by matching email addresses, there'll be a little squiggly red line similar to the IP red lines to indicate that those emails are similar. Um, that may be an instance why someone would not get rewarded. However, that doesn't seem to be the case in this instance since the advocate was rewarded. And so if I scroll down, I can actually see the specific code that was issued to this advocate. And I can see that code right here. Single use coupon XY7405 JKFS for $25 off was issued. The coupon code is here as well. And you can see the status is paid. So if I want, I can take that code and, and deliver it directly to the advocate. For example, if I'm talking to them um, through uh, customer service inquiry, if I just want to do it through the Talkable platform, I can actually go back here to all emails received. And you can see there are two emails received. So if I click on this one, I can see that I, this advocate was sent two reward paid emails. 
They were both sent on May 23rd. They were both delivered and they were both opened. However, neither one was clicked on. So in some cases, some people will open the email and forget about it or it will get lost in their inbox or accidentally deleted. So you can actually resend it by clicking on details next, next to the reward email that you want to resend and then click on resend. You'll then see a preview of the email that's gonna get sent to the advocate with their reward. And this will be the actual coupon code. In here, it's just a sample code. The actual code that we just saw is going to populate in the actual email. So now that I'm happy with the email, I just click resend. And that email has been successfully resent to the advocate. And then I will also be BCC'd on that reward email. So I'll be able to see the actual email as well. Now, if I go back to the initial lookup that I did, for example, if I wanted to actually understand if the second friend, um, if the advocate writes in and says, I know my friend Mahika at Togful.com made a purchase and I did not get rewarded for that purchase. So you can actually look up that specific referral and see in this case that I, the advocate was not rewarded, which is indicated by this red box. So if I hover over it, it actually says the reason why the advocate did not get rewarded for that specific referral. In this case, the reason is the friend's order subtotal is not satisfied. So if I go over here, I can actually see what this friend's subtotal was. In this case, it's $50. And if I wanna understand what that minimum requirement is, I can click on referral details, scroll down, and look at the campaign that that code was issued from. So in this case, it was issued from the test invite standalone campaign. If I click through on that link, I'm taken to details of that specific campaign. And within the incentives area, I'll be able to see the $25 code for both the friend and the advocate. So those are the codes that they receive for the referral. And in this case, the advocate only gets rewarded if the friend is a new customer, if the friend's subtotal is greater or equal than $100. The advocate is not rewarded yet for this friend and the friend makes a purchase. In this case, this is the reason that that advocate did not get rewarded. The friend's subtotal has to be greater or equal than $100. So if I navigate back, I can see that friend subtotal was only $50. And that's the reason the advocate did not get a reward for this referral. So you'll be able to communicate that to the advocate. If I wanna look up another instance, so in this case, um, we have another friend purchase. So Veronica Talkable.com made a purchase from Olivia's referral. She spent $100. She did meet the minimum subtotal, and you'll see that Olivia did receive a $25 reward. Again, to see the details of that reward, just click on referral details, scroll down, you'll see that coupon code, as well as all the other details as to whether it was paid. And then again, you can navigate to emails received and to resend that reward email. Thanks for checking in with us about how to check on a referral status. We hope this was helpful and you'll join us for more videos moving forward and understanding the Talkable platform.